Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man, Valentine, baby. Coming to you from On The Grind. It's your home edition, man. As you can see, Van City can't be outside right now, but man, we gotta be inside, yo. That's how we gotta do it. Man, you know, every day, every day that I come, I sit in front of the camera and and I think to myself, I'm like, you know, has anything changed since the last time I've been on the camera? And I know that, uh, I don't know. I wish I can come to you and say, yeah, things have changed. But um, I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't heard nothing or seen anything changing yet, so. The pandemic is still is still going and people still acting crazy and don't want to wear a mask and knowing that hey man this stuff is uh is airborne and i mean if it they say it's you know it's like an aerosol so little droplets can stay in the air and i mean people fighting against wearing a mask that they can save you can save the lives of of your family your friends you know what I mean but it seems like people are too ignorant to because they want to go outside and enjoy themselves why can't you go outside and enjoy yourself with a mask you know what I mean so I mean the pandemic is is a beast but yet People are more so so much more selfish to want to think about only themselves and not thinking about nobody else. So, has anything changed? No. You know, pandemic is still the the racism pandemic is still killing us too. So, ain't nothing changed there either. And I mean, sports is getting back to normal. Well, hopefully, but too many players keep testing positive. I mean, I for one hope that they can get it together and make sure it all it all comes through. But when too many players keep testing positive, man, I don't know, it's, it's a problem. But I hope they can get it together and make sure it happens because I think the NBA players getting ready to set it off and, and hopefully they can set it off right. The soccer man out we don't know we don't know Dallas teams out Vancouver is supposed to play Dallas but who knows but anyway I mean that's that's what I'm saying has anything changed have you I mean have they voted on this stop and search stop and frisk we don't know we haven't heard nothing but yet the most important thing for them right now is to be voting on some I mean, e-scooters and 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 and, and the uh, I guess the drinking or the the where they can have where people can start drinking. I mean, it's important to to make sure that all the businesses can get back up and running. You know what I mean? But I can see them wanting to do that and coming up with a plan to help the businesses. I mean, that's something. I guess that is something that's changed. So, and I, I believe that the number one thing that the city should be voting on is the, is the stop and stop and search, stop and stop and frisk. But I understand that you your business has got to open up too. So that we got to get going. But again, like I said, man, this pandemic of racism still continues because. There's too many things that's going on in the city, man, that just, that it doesn't make no sense. And people need to embrace, embrace their, their surroundings and, and whoever they got in their surrounding bubble. You know what I mean? So there's no question that things really haven't changed none yet because we haven't seen that much coverage and we know that there's still marches going on and people still fighting for equality, fighting for racial injustice. 
you know, institutionalized racism has to stop. Systemic racism has to be has to stop. People gotta embrace they they past and in order to have a better future. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, things like that has to stop. And we have to make sure as as uh, as the journalists who are on TV, everybody on TV, they have to continue to keep talking about it. Because the less you talk about it, the more we go back to where we were before. You see what I'm saying? And right now, it's being slowly phased out. But I can't be letting it phase out, man, because this is part of my heritage too. And I got to continue talking about it. I'm going to come on and say this each and every single day. Systemic racism still lives. Institutionalized racism still lives. You know what I mean? The socioeconomics for black and indigenous people still lives. You know what I mean? And people who don't believe systemic racism lives is, I mean, like this this one cat who's who's the, um, I don't know, Mr. Minky or whatever his name is. Um, Rupert Minky the, the, in Kamloops, he RC, he's RCMP. I think he's RCMP. You know, doing blackface, man. So, I mean, really? You, you can't tell me that this fool does not know that this is a problem. I mean, when Satchmo did it back in the day, it was a problem. When the dude who was doing blackface, all these people who do blackface, it's a problem. And this, this knucklehead didn't know. And yet, they keep saying there's no systemic racism in, <laughs> in, in the police force, man. And I know. Assistant Deputy Chief Chow. No systemic racism in VPD. Ever since he's been there for 34 years. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. This is BC. So, I don't know, man. It's, um, it, 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 it's tough. And each and every single day I come and I sit down here, man, and I'm like, you know what? I've got to think. I've got to sit and think of how this makes me feel. And how is it making me feel to continuously do these things each and every single day? And it's it's tiring, it's depressing. And but you know what? I'm resilient though, man. Because I'm gonna keep coming to y'all each and every single day. And I heard this um the lady's name is uh I think a Jacqueline Stewart. I think she was on Don Lemon's podcast. And Don Lemon's podcast is, um, is silence is not an option. And this woman said something like this. People should, should embrace education. And they should embrace educating themselves because, and instead of resisting, resisting information that can disrupt their pleasure, you see what I mean? And what this means is that in order, you have to embrace getting educated so you can actually make change. Because embracing knowledge to make change. And there's no question that each and every one of us needs to, we need to all embrace the information and educating ourselves, you know what I mean? Because right now we all need education. Because the educating, the education that we can we can get will help us move further along and hopefully further our knowledge of what has happened and what has transpired 
from 400 years ago till now. You know, because people still don't believe. And I don't get it. So they need to embrace knowledge, man, to, to make change. That's the key. And to do that, we have to get the people in, in a room to sit down and, and start talking about what makes them feel uncomfortable. So racism makes people feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? It shouldn't. You should sit down and understand why people are, want to talk about it right now. Because you know what? The people who are saying it, it makes them feel uncomfortable to be around you who can't actually accept it. So, again, I talk, I talk, to, I talk about the, the education minister, the premier, the, the police chief. Uh, Jagmeet Singh, everybody, I mean, he's still with that, him being uh, excluded from, from the house. But all these things, man, I mean, the, the killings, the brutalities, the, the everything that's happening needs to stop. And people need to start figuring out how to educate themselves to make sure that they get a handle on this. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy why people just can't understand or can't believe. Just keep looking at history, man. There's so much out there. Y'all got to look it up. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I'm hopefully, I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. I'm hopeful that tomorrow, you know, they'll vote on this. Uh, they'll take away this stop and search and stop and frisk. And... Maybe they'll do some police reforms, you know, take some money to put it to mental health and do something. You know what I mean? And, and people will start realizing that this virus is real and be knowledgeable and sensible. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey man, I look forward to tomorrow because each day is a new day. And each day brings hope. So, Stay safe, everyone. Remember that there is a pandemic, and we know the COVID-19 is the pandemic of right now, but remember that the pandemic of racism still exists. So y'all got to get it together, too. Education minister, get Black History Month in schools. Horgan. Um... Hey, Jagmeet Singh, the police chief, everybody, I, I don't know, every politician, man. Y'all got to get it together and sit down and start talking about this stuff. Doesn't matter if it makes you feel uncomfortable. I'm ready to sit down and talk with y'all. So get at me. Now listen, every one of y'all that's going out, man, stay safe. Wear your mask. It's important. Don't be selfish. Save lives. Save your own people's lives. You know what I mean? You're all your family. So do what you got to do. All right? Wash your hands, social distance, everything. Stay safe. Like I said, man, embrace educating yourself. I'm your man Valentine, baby. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine.